Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x to the power 4 minus 10x cubed plus 34x squared minus 50x plus 25 is equal to 0. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start by dividing both sides of this equation by x squared. So, this will become x to the power 4 divided by x squared minus 10 x cubed divided by x squared plus 34 x squared divided by x squared minus 50 times x divided by x squared plus 25 divided by x squared is equal to 0 divided by x squared is 0. Now, this uh, x to the power 4 over x squared will become x squared minus this uh, 10 x cubed over x squared will become 10 times x plus this x squared get cancelled with this x squared and here left 34 minus 50 x over x squared will become 50 divided by x plus this remains same 25 over x squared is equal to 0. Now, we combine the terms with x squared and we combine the terms with x. So, this will become x squared plus 25 over x squared minus 10 times x minus 50 over x plus this 34 is equal to 0. Next, x squared plus 25 over x squared. From these two terms, uh, we can factor out negative 10. Negative 10 as common factor and in bracket left uh, x plus 5 over x plus 34 is equal to 0. Next, x squared plus, since here we have x plus 5 over x, so we write this 25 over x squared as 5 over x whole squared minus 10 times x plus 5 over x plus 34 is equal to 0. Now, by using this algebraic identity a squared plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared minus 2ab. This x squared plus 5 over x whole squared will become x plus 5 over x whole squared minus 2 times in place of a we write this x and in place of b we write this 5 over x 5 over x minus 10 times x plus 5 over x plus 34 is equal to 0. Next, x plus 5 over x whole squared minus this x will be cancelled out with this x and a negative 2 times 5 will become 10 minus 10 times x plus 5 over x plus 34 is equal to 0. Next, x plus 5 over x whole squared. We write this expression first, negative 10 times x plus 5 over x. In this negative 10 plus 34 will become plus 24 is equal to 0. 
Now here we have same expression x plus 5 over x and here we have same expression x plus 5 over x. So we suppose that let x plus 5 over x is equal to y. Then this equation will become y squared minus 10 times y plus 24 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. We write this y squared and we split this negative 10y as a negative 6y minus 4y plus 24 is equal to 0. From these two terms, we can factor out y and in bracket left y minus 6. From these two terms, we can factor out negative 4 in bracket left y minus 6. 6 is equal to 0. Now, this y minus 6 is common. So, we factor out this y minus 6 and in bracket left this y and this negative 4. In bracket left y minus 4 is equal to 0. From here either this expression y minus 6 is equal to 0 or this expression y minus 4 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the value of y is equal to 6 and from this equation, we get the value of y is equal to 4. Now, recall that x plus 5 over x is equal to y. Recall that x plus 5 over x is equal to y. So, when y is equal to 6, then this equation will become x plus 5 over x is equal to 6. And if we multiply both sides by x, this implies that x squared plus 5 is equal to 6 times x. Move this 6x to the left hand side, then this will become x squared minus 6x plus 5 is equal to 0. Now, this quadratic equation is also factorable. We write this x squared, x squared and we split this negative 6x as a negative 5 times x minus 1 times x plus 5 is equal to 0. From these two terms, uh, we can factor out x in bracket left x minus 5. From these two terms, uh, we can factor out negative 1 in bracket left uh, x minus 5 is equal to 0. Now, this x minus 5 is common, x minus 5 as common factor and in bracket left uh, x minus 1 is equal to 0. From here, either this expression x minus 5 is equal to 0 or this expression x minus 1 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the value of x is equal to 5 and from here, we get the value of x is equal to 1. So, this is the first value of x, this is the second value of x. So, for now, we have uh, two solutions of uh, this equation. Now, to find the uh, other two solutions, uh, in this equation, we replace this y with this 4. So, this will become x plus uh, 5 over x is equal to 4. And if we multiply both sides by x, uh, this implies that uh, x squared plus uh, 5 is equal to 4 times x. Now, we move this 4x to the left hand side, then this will become x squared minus uh, 4 times x plus uh, 5 is equal to 0. And this quadratic equation is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative times negative 4 plus or minus square root of, in place of b squared, we write negative 4 squared minus 4 times in place of a, we write 1 times in place of c, we write 5. 
divided by 2 times in place of a we write 1. Next x is equal to negative times negative 4 will become positive 4 plus or minus square root of this negative 4 squared will become 16 minus 4 times 1 times 5 20 divided by this 2 times 1 will become 2. Next x is equal to 4 plus minus square root of this 16 minus 20 will become negative 4 divided by 2. Next x is equal to 4 plus or minus this square root of negative 4 can be written as a square root of 4 times square root of negative 1 divided by 2 and x is equal to 4 plus minus square root of 4 is 2 and this is square root of negative 1 is i divided by 2. Next x is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2 in bracket left 2 plus minus i divided by 2. So, this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and from here we get uh, other 2 values of x, x 3 is equal to 2 plus i and x 4 is equal to 2 minus i and first we found the value of uh, x 2 is equal to 1 and value of x 1 is equal to 5. So, we have uh, 4 solutions of uh, this equation.